My name is Owen James Shearer. I work out at Denver International Airport. 5505 free whiskey in Bravo. I fuel airplanes for a living. Come on, let's go finish up, people. Just push away and hold on tight. I'm originally from Fable, North Carolina. I moved out to Denver two years ago in December of 2013. <laughs> I was just a normal kid. Played youth sports, basketball, baseball. Played the trumpet in the band for three years and then moved on playing football. Senior year I played center, so they actually let me touch the ball. I always feel like as long as you stay committed to something, you'll be fine. So, I really don't notice people staring at me. I mean, kids will be kids. So if they see something different or something they're not used to, they tend to point at it and make comments about it. But I mean, this is actually not something you see every day. I'm talking about this. <laughs> Um, I was born with partial digits missing on both my hands, middle three digits to be specific. Um, I have met people that have, are missing the same fingers, but they're from different stories. <laughs> oh, how'd you lose yours? I lost mine in a lawnmower accident. Uh, I lost them at birth. I kind of got in the easy way. <laughs> it's something I can't change and nothing that I wish or will or try to do. Nothing's going to change the fact that I don't have fingers, so I just make the best of the situation and take the road as it comes. Probably gonna run by Target, uh, get some black pens and a notebook or two. You know, people ask me, they're like, how do you do the stuff that you do? I was like, well, I've got about 26 years of practice. I, I don't know how to do it by now. I mean, it's pretty much just done with thumbs anyway. I wouldn't say there's anything I've come across that I can't do. It's just it's a more high level of difficulty, but I can get it done. <laughs> I'm getting ready to start a new job on Monday. Exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. But I'm ready, I'm ready for it to happen. Here to be a Denver police officer. Attention on deck! Good morning, welcome to DPD. I'm Sergeant Kevin Bray. I'm gonna be your class supervisor. Double time it out to the hangar. Let's go out this door. Follow instructions, let's go. Out the door, double time, double time. Today is day one for recruit class 152. Let's go, double time, people. Day one is a very interesting day. Right there, right there, right there. We have to get the tone set for the entire academy. Come on, move it down. Why is that hole there? It's kind of a, it's a calling, and, so, and a lot of people are just driven to be police officers. Down, down. Push down. Up, move it down. Up, up. Back, back, back. back because they're willing to put their lives on the line every day. No one asked them to do it. They went out there and volunteered pretty much. That's the sense of honor that I feel is worth joining. One, one, one sir, two, 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 sir, five, three, sir, four, four sir, five, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, 10, sir. It's gonna be tough, I think. It's gonna be a lot of stuff thrown at you in a relatively short amount of time, but I'm always up for a challenge. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Radio, sir. Sidebury, sir. Van Pelt, sir. Very good. We need to get the recruits in the mindset that this isn't just another job. Skills team, too, seems to have figured it out. This is practice for every day for the rest of their career. Skills team three, you line up in the same fashion. The class that we just received today has 35 recruits. Working together as a class is going to be instrumental in your success. I guarantee you that. Our expectation here is real simple. We have 26 weeks to work with you and we're gonna take every single moment. Class dismissed. 52! Fall out double time. Went in my first day and it, it kicked my butt, but I enjoyed it. We're here to protect life and property. As you can imagine, being a police officer, you, there's a lot of knowledge, uh, which is why they're here for 26 weeks. A lot of that time is spent in the classroom. They have a lot of criminal law. They have a lot of municipal code, you know, basic investigations, all the way up to, you know, complex crimes that come in. And so there's really a lot to, to know and, and understand. If there's a hazardous materials spill, 
it's a new adventure in, in its own, but then again, it's also learning how to do your job better too. Most of the times they're not gonna be in a box, they're gonna be on a big old pallet, shrink wrapped. We are trying to break that stereotype of what a, a police officer is. We want people from, from every walk of life. And we have short, we have tall, we have every religion, we have every color, we, we value that diversity. Look, listen, just pay attention to the scene. Pay attention to your surroundings. And that's with everything you do in this job. It was different from college because in college, I didn't feel like I was really going for anything or had something to strive for, really. But here, this is for your job. The goal here is for the guy in the middle to work his way out of this crowd. You've got to be aggressive about this. You've got to hit and then carry through that person. Questions? All right, fight hard. This is a big one. ACT's arrest control techniques. Go! Yeah. Come back, come back, come on, police! Come on, let's go, let's go, get out of that corner! How to handcuff people and then... No, no, no! When someone doesn't want to go to jail and they want to fight you, <laughs> giving you tools to uh, handle the situation. Come on, we work hard. Come on, man. Come on! There were times when it was tough. They do push you to places where you never thought you would go, and then they teach you how to go push past it and push through the pain. Because you can't give up out in the street if someone's trying to kill you. There are no resets in life, so if you're dead, you're dead. There's no coming back from that. There you go, get out of there. Don't let them surround you, get off that wall. When you think you have nothing left, you do. And then they teach you how to go to that place and find it. No one ever said you're not gonna fall on your face at least one point in your lifetime, because I mean, everyone is. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And sometimes you're gonna hurt, you're gonna feel like crap and wanna puke your guts all over the floor. <laughs> or just curl up in a ball in a corner and just lay there for about five minutes after you're done. But you know, it didn't kill you either. Me, I wanted to do it again, as sick and tormented as that sounds, but I can't let myself not be good at something if I'm gonna try it. If I'm gonna try something, I'll at least go full on and all out for it. DVOC is a uh, driving portion of training out here. They're paying us to drive fast, let's drive fast. DVOC is more road courses, so more braking, more acceleration, better steering and car control. Get through the courses as fast as you can without knocking over as many cones. It shows you can control a car in different ways. You have a lot more control of a car than you'd think you would. Oh, and I'm a NASCAR fan, so... It's a blast. <laughs> Getting to do stuff a lot of people don't ever get the chance to do. So I've just been soaking it in and enjoying the ride as it goes. Everybody's challenged. Everybody comes up against someone that doesn't believe in them or doesn't think that they can do what they want them to do, and we all have to prove ourselves at some point or other. You just have to find your own way to overcome those challenges. One drop of oil there, 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 and there. One here. It was more of just like getting reps in. Speed reload, drop mag. Building muscle memory, tinkering with my hands. So we just had to figure out something that we could make work for me. And as soon as we figured it out, it wasn't a problem at all. What we found out was that I was 
pushing the gun and then jerking the trigger. Again, three rounds on that piece of paper, lean around the direction I tell you. As soon as they made me aware of what I was doing. Left side. Jump your head! I could recognize it when I was shooting, so. I can do something just as well as you can. That shouldn't make a difference to how many fingers I have in my hand. The instructors told me, like, the first time I went out. All right, eyes and ears. It's all about taking deep breath and just slowing yourself down. Make sure you're seeing everything that you need to see. That really helped a lot for me. No matter how bad your day went or how crappy you feel at the end of the day, the sun's still gonna come up in the morning. So just get ready for the next day, you'll be fine. Left, 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 right, left. This afternoon we're just practicing for graduation. Class, present, arms making sure that tomorrow goes as smoothly as it can so that they can be proud uh, when they're up there in front of all their family and friends. Whatever my hand does, your right hand should be doing the same thing, okay? We better get this stuff straightened up. Step out and fall right in line uh, behind Shear. Because tomorrow there are going to be hundreds of people in there watching us march down and get our badges. So everyone face forward, line up behind the person in front of you. Obviously it's a big day for them. It's what they've been working. 25 weeks for. And I'm gonna dismiss you. You're gonna do exactly like you do every other morning. A lot of sweat, a lot of tears, a lot of hours of studying, you know, hard physical workouts, uh, just a lot. As soon as Dwayne gets here, we'll start getting you guys your photos as well. We're graduating 32, and they started with 35. There you go, good. It's difficult for some people. It's, this job's just not for everybody. Come back with your feet right there, good. And it comes with a higher level of stress than most people are accustomed to, so <laughs> nothing against those guys, but I mean, this, it just wasn't for them. Okay, here we go, one more time. They start out as individuals and they come together as a team. <laughs> <laughs> By the end, they're a close-knit group that build these friendships and bonds that will last their career. We don't give the badge away, you have to earn it. And they truly do. And so they can stand proud tomorrow when they get that badge pinned on their chest and be proud of the fact that they really did earn that badge. Remember that everything that you do reflects on all of us because now you're, you're part of this family and people don't see you as a person, they see you as a uniform and a badge. Every action you take represents all those men and women who sacrificed everything for this batch. Remember your God, your family, and then the department, okay? Just keep your priorities straight, and if you do that, you'll have a long and fruitful career. I told him every day he leaves with that flak jacket on. That makes mama feel happier. Denver Police Basic Recruit Class 15-2. Class, forward, march. Tyler, Travis, Corey, Thomas, Mark, Jordan, Frank, Gregory, Brandon, Donovan, Chase, Stephanie, T, Owen, J. Shearer, badge 15033. I'm the most humble person out there, so I'm not gonna harp on things that I've done or give praise or anything. I just wanna be judged equally as everyone else was. Raise your right hand and please repeat after me. You've been through the training and they've demonstrated their abilities to perform here and now he's going to go out and demonstrate his abilities to perform in, in real life situations. I believe that you can do anything you set your mind to, so if your mind's fully committed 100%, you can do it. <laughs>